Hello everyone. Welcome to the first episode of our three-part series on creating, storing, and spawning custom items in Unreal Engine. In this episode, we'll be focusing on setting up data tables and structs to store item data and create a function to spawn those items in the game. Before we dive into today's episode, please take a moment to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future episodes. So let's get started. First, let's create a custom struct that will hold the properties of each item. We're going to right click in the content browser, go to blueprints and go down to structure. We'll name this item data. Go ahead and open that up. Here we're going to add a few variables that we'll use for our item. Uh, let's do the first one as material. Set that to a material. We'll add another one. This will be mesh. Set that to static mesh. And for now, I think we'll leave it at this just so we can see it get created. Let's go ahead and now go to miscellaneous and we'll create a data table. Select our item data that we just created. We're gonna call this item data table and go ahead and open that up. On your data table tab, go ahead and add an item. Let's name the first one item one. Add a mesh. Mesh in the material. I did not import anything for this other than the ALS stuff, so I'll just use that as my default. Go ahead and make a second one. Same thing, we'll just create a cut or choose a couple randoms and let's do one more. Let's do anything works. Let's do the fountain. On this one, go ahead and save that. We can go ahead and close that down. Next, we're going to create a couple blueprints. We're going to start with creating one for our item. We're going to call this item. Go ahead and open that up. Here, we want to add a static mesh. We'll just call it item. We don't really need to give it anything other than that. And we're not going to assign a static mesh here. We're going to do that depending on what the item is. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and off of our event begin play, we're going to say get data table row. Select our data table, the item data table. Now from here, we're going to set our mesh and our material. So go ahead and split the out row pin. We have our material and mesh right here. We want to grab this item. Nope, we don't want to do that. We want to say, Static mesh, set static mesh. Go ahead and attach that there. It's going to be the new mesh. And we're going to pull out here. Set material. And this is going to be this material. So this will create our item for. Next, we're gonna 
compile and save this. Close that down for now. Let's create another blueprint. This is going to be our spawner. We're going to call it an actor. We're going to call it item spawner. Go ahead and open that up. We're going to use this scene root to give us our location. And just for testing purposes on this one, we're going to pull off of our event begin play and say spawn actor from class. Go ahead and click that item class. Pull your default scene root out, and we're going to get world transform. Touch that here. Let's go ahead and jump over and test. Go ahead and compile, save. Let's drag our item spawner out into the world. This will be where our item is generated at. And let's go ahead and play. And there's our item. So now we want to show this off a little differently. I want to go ahead and raise this. We want to make them fall from the sky every few seconds. And we're going to rotate through the items in the uh, data table. So to start, let's jump over to our item. After set material, we're going to actually set the physics. We want that to be on so that it will fall appropriately. Go ahead and attach our item. Let's go to our item spawner now. Instead of begin play, we want to do a tick. Let's attach that to a delay and let's do every two seconds. Go over and watch it. Now the items should start falling and we're spawning items. So now let's go ahead and change this to where it will generate some random items. So let's go into our item. We're actually going to move this over and say get data table row names. Select our data table. And for this, let's go ahead and do random. This will grab a random item out of this array. Go ahead and save that. And let's go watch. So this fountain is going to be an issue just because of its collision, what it's set to in the mesh. I don't want to change that. So I'm actually just going to go change the item itself. We'll change it to binoculars and let's keep that same color, same material. Now let's test it. Getting our random items. Everything seems to be working. And that's going to do it for the first episode of this series. In this episode, we created a system to store and spawn custom items in Unreal Engine. In the next episode, we'll add some new items and attributes and generate those items based on the level that we assign to that item. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. If you have any other questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. As always, happy developing, and I'll see you in the next episode.